Welcome to Holly EFI Training Part 1. In this video, we're going to take a look at downloading and installing our Holly V5 software build onto our laptops, as well as doing a basic software overview so we can get comfortable and familiar with the software to move into our training course. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at how to download and install our Holly EFI V5 software onto our laptop so we can begin our training course. Now the very first thing we're going to do, jump in here to our web browser. I have Internet Explorer open and type in hollyefi.com. That's going to bring you to the front page of the Holly EFI website. Now this is going to be the front page so we can find right here in our Holly EFI tech and support. If we click this link, that's going to redirect us to the bottom of the front page and then we can click our first option right here, tech and support documents. This is going to redirect us now into our tech resource library under fuel injection. Now here is where we can do the download to obtain the software and firmware for our HAL EFI V5. So we can find right here at the top, we're going to have a bunch of different choices that we can work with here and, and download different kinds of things, revision logs or firmware updates or software overviews. We're specifically interested in taking a look here at our second to last option, the Holly EFI V5 Build 140 software and firmware. Now, at the time of filming, 140 is going to be the latest firmware build, but as, as you go in in time, if you're coming into this maybe six months or a year later, you might find that 140 is no longer the latest firmware build. It might be something like 165 or 180. The process still is going to be the same for doing the actual downloading, installing of the software. So let's go here and click this option. That's going to prompt up a window down here in the lower portion of my screen. That's going to ask me, what do I want to do with that zip file that we're downloading from our website here? So either open it or save it. I'm going to go here and save it. We can see it's now going in and starting to download that file. This takes about one to two minutes to download the zip file, so I'll be patient. And uh, as soon as it completes the download, we'll continue on with video. All right, so it just finished that download process. We have some options here, open, open folder, view downloads. I'm just going to say open the folder right here. It's going to bring me right to the folder that we just downloaded. So we can see Holly EFI build 140 software and firmware. Double click this option here. And then we can see here the setup file. We want to double click this. This is going to be opening up here another screen. It's going to ask us if we want to install our Holly EFI V5 setup and our software to set it up. And we say yes here. Now it's going to pop up another screen telling us that there's V5 software overview and V5 build 140 update documents that we may want to read. They're going to be found in libraries, documents, Holly, HEFI, V5. I'm going to click next here, go to the next portion, since I know that these particular files of interest are located here. Let's click next. The next portion is going to be telling me where it's going to install the folder for Holly on my laptop. So we can see here C drive, program files, x86, Holly, EFI, V5. That's fine. I'll allow it to install in this uh, default location. I'm going to click next here. In our startup menu, it's going to create a Holly subdirectory. So if we double click it, it's going to take us right to the software and open it up. I'll allow it to call that Holly. That's fine. And then click next. And we want to have a desktop shortcut. This is going to be allowing us just to click on the icon right on the desktop. It'll open up the software. So I'm going to click that and then click next. It's going to just go over what we've just agreed to. So where we want to install Holly, um, having our start menu uh, quick link, and then finally our desktop shortcut. That's fine. We'll click install. It's going to start to extract our files from our setup file here. And we'll be patient while it completes that. There's going to be a couple more things we need to do. But thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.